Joy in the city. Joy in your life. Joy in your family. And joy everywhere in Jesus' name. GCK Authority has announced the next level move. From the land of honor and integrity comes two in one GCK live in Ekiti State, Southwest Nigeria, the Global Crusade and Retreat, December 22 to 27, 2022. A new level of Impact Academy for Youth, Young Adults and Professionals, titled Recharge to Excel, December 27, 2022, at 0600 hours GMT, all broadcasts live on satellite, radio, television, and all our social media platforms with Jonathan White, our guest music minister. GCK, the gospel to every creature. Let us pray. God of light and God of truth, we come before you today with open hearts, open minds, wanting your light to shine into our hearts and your truth to be impressed upon our lives. Olorun male, Olorun titọ, a wa si waju yin loni pelu okan ti o mura tan, pe ki male yin ki o le tan sinu okan wa pelu imale otito ni. We come wanting to receive the bread of life from your word. A wa lati gba akara iye, lati waju yin wanting to receive the cleansing water of the word. Wanting to have the refreshing truth of your word. And we pray, O oh Lord, as we come at your table today, wanting to eat the spiritual food, you will feed us until we are satisfied in Jesus' name. We know that in ourselves we cannot understand the truth. But if you will shine forth into our hearts, we'll definitely understand. Father, we pray that you assist us to understand your truth. Apply the word to our lives. Make us stronger by the word. And more useful in your kingdom by the word you teach us today. In Jesus' name we pray. We're still in our study of Colossians. Today we're looking at Colossians chapter 1. We're looking at Verse 23, verse 24, verse 25. Open your Bibles and let's read together as we also interpret and apply to our lives. Colossians chapter 1 from verse 23. If you continue in the faith grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which ye have heard, and which was preached unto every creature which is under heaven, whereof I, Paul, am made a minister. Verse 24, who now rejoice in my sufferings for you, and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh, for his body's sake, which is the church. Verse 25, whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. There are people that will just read over these verses and will just have a costly look, a rapid look, and then pass on to other passages of scripture without getting the real thing 
the meat of the word that God intends for us in the passage we have read. And what can we say? Pe eseti akaye, wa yoka lorefi, wa yoka goju fodani, wa yoka jalosi a wa se miran. La ilionje uti tati olonu fe fi bawa ni nu esenaka. But in our church here, we are committed to the study of the word of God. To bani ni jo wa ni ati piara wa je fo kito e koro lono. This is what makes us to devote much time to in-depth study of the Bible. E yini omu wa ki afi o polo kwa koko jin la ti wa le jin le ni nu e ko bibeli. And I believe God has a lot to reveal to us in these three verses that we have looked at today. E me si bag bo kwe on kupo nyo lono fe si pa ya han wa ni nu e se meta ti akalo ni. To start with, you will see that the title or the topic we are talking about is ministry of God appointed ministers. Ni bere wa ri pe pe koko iwa su ti an soro le lori oni se ran se awon ojise ti Olorun yan. If you look at verse 23 and verse 25, you will understand why that is the topic that were placed on these verses of scripture. Ti o ba wo ese keta le logun ati ese kanrun de ni ogbon. Nigba na ni wa ma ede ti a fi yan koko iwa su ti ayan yi. In the last part of verse 23, it says Whereof I, Paul, am made a minister. Ni la ti o gbe nye se keta o so wipe e ye ti a fi e mi Paul lu se yin a se fo. Again in verse 25, the first part of verse 25, Whereof I am made a minister. Baka na nye se kanon de mi o gbe nye. So then in these verses is revealing some deep truth concerning the ministry and the minister. And because he said I am made a minister two times, it means that he was not a self-appointed minister. He was a God-appointed minister. That's why the title of the topic we're looking at is Ministry of God-appointed minister. And in this passage, Paul the Apostle speaks about the ministry of gospel ministers. Actually, he's talking about his own ministry, but thereby he has given us a detailed look into what God given ministry entails. There are four things that appear from these verses. Number one, the source of the minister. That's God himself. Number two, the spirit of ministry. That is the attitude that the minister ought to possess while it's in the ministry. In verse 24, that is a spirit of the attitude of joy. Number three, the suffering of the ministry. And number four, the Hope of the ministry. Let's go back to the first part, the source of the minister. Brothers and sisters, this is so important. And Paul the Apostle talked about the source of his ministry every time. From verse 1, the very opening verse of this episode, it says, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God. In talking about his apostleship or his ministry, he said, It is not by usurpation, I told you before, it is not by uh, just wanting to be a minister, neither is it by other people pushing him there. It is by the appointment of God, by the will of God. And again, in the latter part of this verse 23, it says, Whereof 
I, Paul, am made a minister. Back on now, ni la fi ogbe nye se eketa yi, o so yi pe e yi ti a fi e mi, Paul lu se ran se po. He has often emphasized that he became a minister, a preacher, an apostle, a prophet, or whatever he did, by the appointment of God, the source of his ministry was God himself. Back on now, ni ba go go to ban so, o man so ni pe, o ndi ran se olorun, o ji se olorun, aposteli, this has always been revelation of God concerning Paul the Apostle. As he was going on the way to Damascus in Acts of the Apostles chapter 26 to relate the story or the testimony of what had taken place in chapter 9 before. He now relates how he became an apostle. Acts chapter 26. Let us look at verse 16 in particular. But rise and stand up on thy feet. For I have appeared unto thee for this purpose. To make thee a minister. To ma di de ti o si fiye se retele. Ni tori e yi ni mo se para hon. La ti nyon ni ran se ati e le ri. This is why Paul always had confidence in his ministry. I di ti o kan Paul nou se man bale ni nou se ran se reni ni. From the very beginning, Christ told him, I've appeared unto you for this purpose, to make thee a minister. So we pay lati bere pere. Ni Christ is so we pay ni tori e yi ni mo se fara hon. Lati nyo ni. It wasn't a career he chose for himself. He se set yo wu lati se tiyo nyo furara. It wasn't something that he felt I will be able to get more money. This is a lucrative job. If I get into it, I'll be able to meet all my financial needs. No. God appeared unto him. Christ told him, I've made thee a minister. He said, that you can borrow, you know, I can't repay. He said, you know, 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 you it wasn't because he felt he will not be popular in the other trade as a tent maker. This will give him popularity and fame. Therefore, he chose it. No, no. God himself, Christ himself, said unto him, I have made thee a minister. He said, Peba yo baro ni nwa kan repe, o wuko ni di e ni ba ujuma, ni pa se kaman kwa ti baba, subman, peti yon ba se le, po unyo le ba ujuma, subman, jesu kisi fura la re, lo fa la han, lo di sope di e yi, ni mo se fa la han. It wasn't because he failed in other employment, or in other careers, and then he saw this have failed in everything else, let me try becoming a minister, no, not at all. Christ himself told this man he could have succeeded in other things, but he said, I have appeared unto thee to make thee a minister. He said, Peboy, I'm sorry, Pony, Jacule, Tabi, Kuna, Lori, and Woko, Woti, and you told say, No, I saw you, I'm sorry, 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 i and eventually he said, all right, what will I promise God so I can get healed? Okay, God, if you will heal me, I'll be preaching for you. No, not at all. It was Christ himself that appointed this man and said, I've appointed thee and made thee a minister. He said, we pay for you, and you can't do it, 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 and you can it wasn't because he saw in himself that he had the gift of speaking. He was an aggressive fellow. He could move all about. And he just felt, what will my gift be useful for in this world in which I am? Maybe if I'm a preacher, since I have a good voice and I have a good physique, maybe I will do well as being a preacher. No, not at all. It was Christ himself that appeared to this man and said, I have made thee a minister. He said, Pebo yan to ripe ojo lo wun yo, ta bi ala ki kan ju ene to moro, so da da lo wa gbaro ni nwa ala re yi pe, e bo ti mo ni yi, ki ndo de ti nku lo lo, la ti le ma bi wa su, la la o, ke su fun la la re, o lo pa la han, lo to pe o ti yan fin se nan. When God appoints a man to do something, 
He will give him the grace that will support him, that will make him successful. That is to say, 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 I have written the more boldly unto you in some sort, as putting you in mind, because of the grace that is given to me of God, that I should be the minister of Jesus Christ to the Gentiles. So, man, Allah, me, Mofi, go, yako, we sing in your account, be a little run in the tea, nit the ori of a tea, fi, fum, me, that's your dollar, or what? He always traced the source of his ministry back to God, back to Christ. He said, because of the grace that is given unto me of God, that I should be the minister of Jesus Christ to the Gentiles, ministering the gospel of God, that the offering of, of the Gentiles might be acceptable, being sanctified by the Holy Ghost. Let's look at 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 12. Chapter 1, verse 12. And I thank Christ Jesus our Lord, who has enabled me, for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. He said it was the Lord that chose him. That enabled him, that counted him faithful, and that put him into the ministry. What Paul the Apostle was saying is that if God of Christ had put me anywhere, I would have endeavored to glorify God wherever he put me. But he has put me into the ministry, and therefore endeavor to glorify God in that ministry. He's teaching us that if we are going to be in the ministry, working for God, preaching the gospel, we should, the source of that ministry should be God himself. We shall wait for the time that God will put us in that ministry. As God made Paul the Apostle a minister, why don't you wait until he makes you a minister? Let us look at First uh, Timothy chapter two from verse five. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time? Whereunto I am ordained a preacher and an apostle. I speak the truth in Christ and lie not a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and verity. He emphasizes the same point in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 11. Whereunto I am appointed a preacher and an apostle and a teacher of the Gentiles. The truth that Paul the Apostle was bringing out is that Christ or God is the source of ministry who appoints ministers to the task of preaching and gathering in souls into the kingdom. 
o ti to ti paulo apostle mu se ni wi pe olorun tabi kristi o fun rara re ni eni tin yin awon aran se fun ise wasu ati kiko re awon kan si ni ijoba na as god made paul a minister he still appointing his ministers today gaga bi olorun se se paul ni a ori jise be ni o tin yin awon eran se ti bi oni oloni and whenever god appoint his minister you will see the approval of God upon that person's ministry and life. Ni ba ti Olorun ba si yen nikan gaga bi iran se wa ri lowo si Olorun ninu ise iran se ati aye oni ton. And we who are Bible students and Bible Christians should be patient till God himself will give us what to do. Awa gaga bi akeko bibeli, agaga bi ani ti o gba bibeli gbo, agbolo duro ti Olorun yo fun ani nti o fe fun wa si. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 4. Eberu ori kan re se ikeri. And no man taketh this honor unto himself, but he that is called of God as was Aaron. Ko si se eni ti o gba laye fun ara re bi ko se eni ti a pe lati odo Olorun wa gaga bi a ti pe Aaroni. If a person intrudes into the ministry without God calling him into that ministry, his condemnation will be great. Ti eni ba kan sare wo ni ise iran se to toju bo se na la je pe Olorun lo pe sinu ise na the load will be unbearable. The difficulties in meet will be unresolvable. And the complications that will get themselves involved when he will not be able to unravel, unveil, or loosen all the knots of the things that he'll get involved in. Awon nkan to dojuru ti o fe lowo si nipa agbara re ko wa nile tu awon nkan to de awon nkan na. On the other hand, if a man or a woman knows that God has appointed him to a particular office, then he should be faithful to God as a steward of the mysteries of God. Ni hakeji ti eniyan ba si mo pe Olorun ti yan gaga bi iranse iru eni be gbodo je oloto iranse. 1 Corinthians chapter 4. Corinthians ki ni ori kerin. From verse 1. Lati ese ikun ni. Let a man so account of us as of the ministers of Christ and the stewards of the mysteries of God. Ja ki eniyan ki o ma ka wa be bi iranse Kristi ati reju awon injile Olorun. You see when a man or a woman realizes that he had been called of God he had been appointed of God. He will be faithful every time because he knows he's not working for man. He's not working for the pastor. He's not working for the people. He's not working for anyone. He's working for the God that appointed and chose him. Ori ni ba ti e niya. Lo kore ta bi lo be rene. Ti o ba ti ma fi o lo ron ti peo si ni se e ron se. Ti re niya be lo kore ati lo be rene. Ti o jyo lo to si o lo ron. Ti se si o lo swa gotan. Ti se si e niya. Ti se si e ni ke ni su ba. Ti o jyo lo to si o lo ron. Eni ti o nyan si se e ron se na. In verse 2. Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. Ni e se e ke ji. Pe lo pe lo. Ambe re lo wè re ju pe ki o lo wa re na. Ti o jye o lo. So, How was Paul the apostle faithful in praying for people? He writing the epistle. In going on the missionary journey. In caring for the churches. In evangelizing the unknown, the unknown world. In traveling far and wide amidst all perils and dangers. If it were man that appointed him, he could have complained. If it were himself that intruded into the ministry all of his own, he could have turned back that I didn't know it would be so difficult like this, he could have left the ministry. But if it was because of money, he would have said, I didn't know that getting money this way would be the most difficult thing to do. He would have run back. But if it was because of popularity and fame, when he started going to the prisons and was losing his popularity and losing his name, he could have changed his mind. But because it was God that appointed him, that is why he said, there is no turning back. That is why you recognize those who are chosen by God. The people that keep on doing it at the cost of even their lives. 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 16. But though I preach the gospel, 
I have nothing to glory of for necessity laid upon me. Yea, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Nitori pe bi moti len wa si re re emi ko li o unti emi ofi sogo. Nitori pe I God of mercy wa lori mi ani mogbe bi emi ko ba wa si re re. For if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. Nitori pe bi mo ban se kan yi ti no ti no mi mo li re kan. Let's go back to Colossians chapter 1. Now I'm reading to you from verse 24. We have seen the source of the minister. And we have seen that it is God himself that appoints a real child of God in ministering the gospel to other children of God. What is the attitude, what is the spirit that constantly prevails in the life, in the heart of a true minister of the gospel? That brings us to the spirit of ministry or the attitude in the ministry. Colossians chapter 1 verse 24. Who now rejoice in my sufferings for you? There is one attitude you find in Paul the Apostle, and it is the attitude of joy. He said, I now rejoice in my sufferings for you. You see throughout the ministry of Paul the Apostle, he was full of joy. He was many times in the prison, but he said, I am not a prisoner of Caesar, I am not a prisoner of the Romans, I'm not a prisoner of the Babylonians. I'm not a prisoner of anybody. I'm a prisoner of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, so we pay a Mickey is on the Kesari, a Mickey is on the Awara Romo, a Mickey is on the Awara Babylonians, who bamboo John de for Christi. And in all the suffering, it was full of joy. Nenu go go in Nirawayi, Uncle Fire. What should be our attitude in the ministry? You know, Yakoja was who was in the center, and now joy. I yoni. But you see some people grudgingly carry out their responsibility. Like Jonah. Jonah preached. Jonah was what was his attitude? Jonah declared the true doctrine of the word of God. Jonah saw the tower. What was his attitude? Jonah moved all through Nineveh and declaring thus says the Lord. But what was his attitude? Jonah la go go ne ne pe ja. O si so pe ba yin olu awi su gba ba wo ni wa si re. Even after the people had repented and God had forgiven them and they were not killed again, what was his response? Ba pa ju lo ni gba ti awe eyan yi ti ronu ku ada ti Olorun ko pa won run mo kini wa si re. There are many people that say they are serving the Lord but they are doing it like Jonah. A o pa awe eyan lo wa ti o so pe won si Olorun sugba won se gaga bi Jonah. They grumble and complain because of the suffering and the inconveniences they face or they have to endure. One course, no one see our we need to rewire that last thing, but I can't go far out there. But let us see what Jesus Christ did. In Hebrews chapter 12, you know, a bear will reach a gila reading from verse 2. How can I say, KG? Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finish of our faith. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Despising the shame. And he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. The cross and the shame that went along with the appointed purpose of God for Christ he endured because of the joy that was set before him. First Thessalonians chapter 2 First Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 19 and 20 For what is our hope or joy or crown of rejoicing and not even ye in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ at his coming, for ye are our glory and joy. Nitori kini retiwa, tabia yowa, tabia desu gowa, ki ase enyini ni waju jesu luwa, ni abore, 
Paul the apostle said, as he saw these people that they were born again, they were children of God, their names were in the book of life, he didn't care for any suffering he was going through. Just see these people that God saved through his ministry, that was enough joy for him. Paul the apostle said, as he saw these people that were born again, they were born again, Paul apostle so pe wa la ki wa la ti o ko ma la koja eleyi ko kan o sugbon riri awon eniyan won yi o ni orisun ayo won Philemon from verse 1 Philemon lati ese ikeni Paul a prisoner of Jesus Christ Paul on the Christ Jesus He didn't count the imprisonment as uh, the problem that these people brought upon him he said I'm a prisoner of Jesus Christ. Koka ide ti awon eniyan won yi ti a mu ba won sugbon so pe o nje o nje Christ Jesus. Verse 9. Ese ke san. Yet for love's sake I rather beseech thee being such an one as Paul the aged and now also a prisoner of Jesus Christ. Sugbon nitori ife emi kuku bebe iru eni bi emi Paul arugo ati nisisin yi o nde Christ Jesus pelu now as he was in the prison at this time bi o se wa ni egbe won ni akoko yi o si morning se o wa n ba nu je grumbling ko ma kun complaining ko ma sa wa wi i didn't know that the minister will get me to such trouble like this n wo ma peru wa la bayi ni se ran se yi o ti ni si i didn't know that evangelization will be so traumatic and so depressing like this n wo ma pe ka wa si rere yo mo la si gba ti wa la da ni bayi i didn't know trying to serve god will bring difficulties and uh, climbing the mountain like this i didn't know it will be with sweat and blood and tears nwo ma pe ka wa si rere yo mu wa ala ati ti a ma gu oke ka ma la gu ala diju bayi what was his attitude at this time kini ru iwa re ni akoko yi last seven ese keje for we have great joy and consolation in thy love because the bowels of the saints are refreshed by thee brother E mi sa ni ayo pupo ati itunu nitori ife re nitori atu okan awon eyan mi malara lati owo re wa arakunrin Remember I was writing from prison and is talking about having joy Lati pe lati le tubu lo tin ko iwe to si so nipa ni ni ayo In Philippians chapter 1 Ninu Philippi ori itun ni Reading from verse 13 Ah o ka lati ese iketala so that my bonds in Christ are manifest in all the palaces and in all other places to be ti de mi gbogbo farahan ninu kristi laarin awon mo gun afin ati gbogbo awon elomiran my bonds not my riches ide mi ki se oro mi o my bonds not my popularity ide mi ki se bi gbajumo mi my bonds not all the all the reward of god ide mi ki se gbogbo ere ti mo ti ri gba so many people are not able to suffer for the gospel ori awon opo eniyan ni ko le ji afun irere a lot of these people it is because they do not even know god awon opolopo nu won lo so fa ni pe won ko mo olorun your attitude in suffering can tell whether you know god or you don't know god o wa si re ninu inira oni yo fi han boye mo olorun tabi o ko mo olorun this Paul the apostle this was a man that knew god Paul apostle yo eni ti o mo olorun he was in the bond o wa ninu ide and he said everybody now knows about my bond o so pe gbogbo eni lo ti e mo nipa ide and he was rejoicing in that o tin ti eleyi so go and everybody knows about your difficulty about your problem about your imprisonment about your lack about your suffering what does it bring up in you the seat makes you to rejoice or to grumble nigba ti gbogbo eniyan ba ma nipa wa ala re ifanju re lasigo re aini re kini eleyi ma mu bo to ma mu ekunrin tabi ma mu eyo and many of the brethren in the lord waxing confident by my bonds are much more bold to speak the word without fear ati pe opolopo awon arakunrin ninu oluwa ti o ni igbekele si de mi nfi igboya gidigidi soro olorun laiberu then in verse 15 ni ese ke do some indeed preach christ even of envy and of strife and some also of good will the one preach christ of contention and not sincerely supposing to add affliction to my bond nito to awon elomiran ti le nfi ija ati ilara wa su kristi awon elomiran nfi inu rere se awon kan fi ija wa su kristi ki se pelu otito inu won gbero lati fi ipanju kun ide mi verse 17 but the other of love 
knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. What was his attitude in all this? Some people were preaching and they were even saying, oh, Paul the Apostle, he has missed his way. He's not a real minister of the gospel. That is why he's suffering. That's why he's going to the prison. And they were preaching of envy and strife, supposing to add affliction to his bond. What was his attitude? And when the mirror till then was so one feel that I was so say Paul Apostoli, all our local rope, you see any alone, all our local lawyer, I was about just a long lawyer, to let you know that you are lying, one feel that I do was so that in the way they win for jury. If people speak about your suffering, about your persecution, about your difficulties and problems like that, and they say, Well, it's house fellowship leader. Is zonal leader, is woman rep, or is coordinator. But you see, look at the difficulties in his life. Maybe this, maybe that, and they begin to add affliction to your bond. What's going to be your attitude? Yeah, when you're barbarous, so while I read the name of one way near, she wants a week or Adari that for Julene, Adari Adoboni, Adari Adobeni, Alacos and Oberini, Alacos Econi, Wobobo, but you think that in the Yuko, in the Yoja was in Renaku. What was the attitude of Paul the Apostle? In the was the Paul Apostle, look at verse 18. What was the key? What then? Yakini. Notwithstanding, every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ has preached, and I daring do rejoice, and yea, I will rejoice. In Jackin, if you say, because they say, Nibi Bobo, Ibasa near Galamasi, Sabinity to talk, as I was who Christy, a missing yon, it or not, little talk, a music my yo. Leading others to salvation of the Lord brought joy in the life of Paul the Apostle. Meanwhile, well, the mirror was made by Lao Lua, Omamua, your was no Paul Apostle. Even though it cost him sweat and tears and blood. He was still rejoicing. And that is what the attitude of a real God appointed minister of the gospel will be. A real apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, a real pastor, a real teacher of the word, a real minister of the gospel will not rejoice when everybody is praising him. He will be rejoicing even when he suffers for the ministry. Of giving salvation, bringing salvation to other people. Apostle, your Lord, only to talk. All the swag, your Lord, only to talk. You're not your Lord, only to talk. Tabio, look out to get your Lord, only to talk. For Nima, Lion, you got to go when you're bamboring your phone. To buy your man, Lion, you got to win your kegner and you got to win your rate, your Lord, to win your Lord. Let's go back to Colossians chapter 1, verse 24. I get your father, the Colossus, you're reading your second in the logo. Who now rejoice in my sufferings for you? And fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church. This brings us to point three the suffering of the ministry. And please, my brothers and sisters, I want you to look at this very, uh, very uh, deeply. Because there are some false teachers that teach that there can be no form of suffering for the true minister or for the true believer. They teach that all suffering has been born by Christ. And any Christian or minister today who is suffering for the cause of Christ is suffering as a result of ignorance. They say if there is anybody that is suffering for the cause of Christ, it is because he's not claiming all the promises of God he ought to claim. They say if there is a minister, a preacher, a full-time worker, or in our own church here, let's say a coordinator, a zonal leader, a woman rep, a member of the choir, an usher, or any of the other workers in the church, that if there is any kind of suffering in their lives, they say it is because the church deeper life is not teaching them well, is not teaching them the word of faith, that is why they are suffering. <laughs> 
ti o ju si Olorun kan ba wa tabi ti a so pe ni ru ijo wa bayi ti a dari da pe ojule kan wa ti a soju awon obirin kan ba wa ti e gbe akorin kan ba wa ti a sona kan ba wa ti a lakosu ekun kan ba wa tabi osise kosise kan ba wa to ba njiya ohun to fa ni pe ijo deeper life ko kon won to lati ni igbagbo lati gba gbogbo eleri to ye ki won ki o gba le fa you source for withholding the whole truth from the church they say because there must be something somewhere if the church had been teaching us the fullness of the truth of the word of God, there should be no suffering for any child of God, for any believer, for any minister, for any worker, for any member in the church. One taco, a wipe, a tipi, a wo, ti tokan pa ma pun wani, to ri pe ti a ba fi go go, ti tokan wan, ko go do si o ma e jok kakan, ko go do si o si se kakan, ko go do si e ni kakan, ni nu e jok, ti o go do ma ji arara. And already we have read about Paul the Apostle said, I rejoice in my sufferings for you. Ni ba ya si tita ni pa Paul la po tili to so kwe e me yon ni nui ya mi ni tori nyi. Actually brothers and sisters, let's look at this. The word of God, especially this New Testament, talks about suffering with Christ. Da ju da ju arakuni ati arabini mo pe ti awele yi tori pe oro lorun pa pa ju lo ma je mu titun o so nipa jiji ya pelu christi Romans chapter 8 verse 17 Romo ri kejo ese keta di logo Please open your bible you need to look at this yourself Jo si bibeli re tori o ye ti wona awele yi Romans chapter 8 verse 17 Romu ori kejo ese keta di ni ogo And if children then heirs heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ if so be that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. Yeah, wa ba ji je oma nje a jogun le awa, a jogun olorun ati a juma jogun pelu Kristi. Bi o ba se pe awa ba ji ya, ti a le se wa logo pelu re. There is suffering with Christ. And lati ji ya pelu Kristi. If you are preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, you will suffer with Christ. Ti o ba nwa si in re re ti Jesu Kristi wa ba Kristi ji ya. If you are ministering the message of the cross, you will suffer with Christ. Ti o ba si se ran si in wa su, ti o agbele bo, wa ji ya pelu Kristi. But thank God look at verse 18, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in all. To ba du pe lo wa lo ron wwe se ke jidi lo go, ni to ri mo si ro re kwe, i ya i da e si si yi, ko ye la ti fi se aka wwe o go, ti avi han ni no wa. 2 Timothy chapter 2. Timothy ke ji, ori i ke ji. Verse 12. E se i ke ji la. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 12. Timothy ke ji, ori i ke ji, e se i ke ji la. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny all. Bi awa ba ba farada, awa o si ba joba, bi awa ba si se, o na yo se wa. So then, number one, the Bible talks about suffering with Christ. Ni tori na, a koko, bi be li so wipe, ti a ji yakwe lu Christi. Number two, the Bible talks about suffering for Christ's sake. E ke ji, bi be li so ni pa a ji ji ya, ni tori Christi. Philippians chapter 1 verse 29. Philippi, ori ki ni ese eko kan de ni ogban. For it is given in the behalf of Christ. For unto you it is given in the behalf of Christ, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake. Ni tori, ni ti Christi, e yin li a ti yonda fun, ki se la ti ba agbo ni kan, when we say, I believe in Christ, I believe in Christ, there is something that comes with that believing in Christ, you have been given the privilege of suffering for the sake of Christ. Nikbati aba yinye fanda fanda yupe mokba jesu go, mokba kristi go, onkan wa ti on lati so kwa magwik ba jesu go yi, oni kwe ki aji ya ni tori yi kristi. Number three, we are called upon to suffer for his name. Iketa akwe wa lati ji ya ni tori oru kore. Acts of the Apostles chapter 9 verse 16. Isi anwa aposteli ori ikesan esa ekeni di logo. Acts 9 16. Isi anwa aposteli ori ikesan esa ekeni di ni ogo. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. Ni tori e mi ofi go gwe ya. Ti yi kole sa i jen ni tori oru kwa mi ha. You see this is for the name of the Lord. Ori e le yi ni tori oru kwa lu wa ni. Not because of ignorance. Ki se ni tori ni wa kwe. Not because we have not taught you the whole truth of the Bible. Ki se pe tori pe ako kwa ni bobo ti to aro lor. Not because there is still something we are hiding away from you. Ki se pe ni tori pe awan kakan wa ti afin pa ma fwa. Not because the church doesn't care for you. Ki se pe ni tori pe i joko bojutu wa. Look at the prophecy concerning Paul 
Paul the Apostle. I will show him how great things he must suffer. For my name's sake. Number one, we suffer with Christ. Number two, we suffer for Christ's sake. Number three, we suffer for his name. Number four, we suffer as Christian. First Peter, Peter chapter 4, verse 16. For yet, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. Now, here it says, as a Christian, you can suffer persecution. As a Christian holding on to the truth of the word of God, to the entirety of the doctrines of the Bible, you can suffer. As a Christian who cares for things of God and loves the things of God, you can suffer from the hands of the people that do not love the way of God, the doctrine of the Bible, and the things of God. Now you see then that some of our members are running away from suffering persecution, and some of our members are complaining and grumbling. If they, if they are told us the whole truth, there will be no suffering at all. We'll be living the land of uh, the the life of uh, the land of uh, Canaan, or we'll be living as if we're in the Garden of Eden right now. The devil is in the world, demons are in the world, and powers of darkness are in the world. Unbelievers are in the world, and because of the situation of the world, you as a Christian be prepared. You will suffer for your Christian faith. <laughs> We also suffer for godliness. Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 12. Timothy Open your Bible quickly. Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 12. Timothy Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. If anybody is inviting you to another church saying, well, if you are in our church, you will not pass over anything, everything will be alright for you, say lie. If you are going to live a godly life in Christ Jesus, you will suffer persecution. In First Peter chapter two verse twenty. For what glory is it if when ye be buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently? But if when ye do well and suffer for it, you hear that? But if when ye do well in your place of work, you do well in your family, you do well among friends, you do well among your neighbors. And ye suffer for it, and ye shall take it patiently. If you will do it like that, it is acceptable with God. Another thing is that we suffer for other people's salvation. You see, when you are evangelizing, you may suffer for it. When you are bringing people from the hand of Satan into the kingdom of God, you can suffer for it. Second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 6. Corinthians chapter 1 verse 6. 
and whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation. When we are afflicted, Paul the Apostle said, Well, we understand that, we accept that, it is for your consolation and your salvation. Which is effectual in the enduring of the same sufferings which we also suffer, or whether we be comforted. It is for your consolation and salvation. Ti un si se ni ifara han yin, ni ifara han wen iya kan ti awa pe lo nje, tabi bi a wa ninu, o ja si fun itinu ati igbala yin. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 5. Thessalonica keji, ori ike ni ese ikaro. Which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of God, that ye may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God, for which ye also suffer. That means that we also suffer for the kingdom of God. Hebrews chapter 11. Reading from verse 25. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. We also suffer with the people of God. Some people say, ah, if these deeper life people, if they, are also, if they are the people of God, since I've been in their midst, all suffering will come to an end. We suffer with the people of God. Number one, we suffer with Christ. Two, we suffer for Christ's sake. Three, we suffer for his name. Four, we suffer as Christians. Five, we suffer for godliness. We suffer for other people's salvation. Seven, we suffer for the kingdom of God. Eight, we suffer with the people of God. Only the people who don't have the grace of God will be running away from suffering persecution for the cross of Jesus Christ. Suffering persecution identifies us with Christ. It results in the salvation of other people. And it brings future reward. And here Paul the Apostle was not ashamed of his suffering. Sometimes you meet a Christian and say, why are you not uh, up and doing again, fervent for the Lord again, spiritual again, moving on again, evangelizing again. Ah, he said the suffering was too much. Paul the Apostle never complained. He rejoiced because of his sufferings for the Lord. Since I left prostitution, I know what I've been suffering. Since I left giving bribes and being corrupt in the office, I know what I've been suffering. Since I took my stand against polygamy, I know the attitude of my husband towards me. Since I stopped selling beer, I know what I've been suffering in making ends meet. And since I've not been going to all these night parties, I know what I've been suffering. Since I stopped living in a particular bungalow where there is a, you know, a dubious a character, now I live alone as a lady. I know what I'm going through. Since I stopped being in my suffering. Colossians chapter 1 verse 24. Who now rejoice in my sufferings 
for you. He said, I'm not suffering because I'm a sinner. I'm suffering for you. I'm not suffering because I'm a backslider. I'm suffering for you. I'm not suffering because I'm out of the will of God. I am suffering for you. And I'm not suffering because I took a wrong step either in marriage or in respect to the government, I am suffering for you. I am suffering for you. He said, since I know that I'm suffering for your salvation, for your edification, for your maturity, and for preparing you for heaven, I rejoice because my suffering is like the sufferings of the Lord Jesus Christ that is bringing people nearer and nearer unto God. Only one that in Botima, the army, free Balayan, King, the Saini, as a fair, King, the Coco Boy, no see Jobo Loro, is the army, what is that big, but it just be a lot of for Lopo Sodra, Mundi, Afuni, I or Jeffuni. Why don't you also get ready like that to suffer to bring other people to the law? You know that you are going to go, Baradin, you are going to go by you, lastly, the Anatoly Balan, and be able to say, like Paul the Apostle. Who now rejoice in my sufferings for the new convert? Who now rejoice in my suffering for the growth of this district church? Who now rejoice in my suffering? For the development and edification of all these people in my house fellowship. They're suffering in the ministry. For Paul the Apostle said, None of these things move me, that I may finish my cause of joy. Number four, the scope of the ministry. In Colossians chapter 1 verse 25, whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. He described the scope of the ministry as Fulfilling the word of God. He expressed it another way in uh, Acts chapter 20. Verse 24. But none of these things move me, neither count I my life down to myself, that I might finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify of the gospel of the grace of God. Verse 27, For I have not shown to declare unto you all the counsel of God. Every minister's purpose should be identical with the purpose of Paul the Apostle. That is, to finish the ministry we have received. Paul's purpose was to teach all the word of God to all the people that God sent him to. That should be our purpose too. And at the end of his life, he testified to the accomplishment of all that he was called to do. He said, I have finished my call. How was it possible for him to finish what God appointed him to do? Because he limited himself to the task appointed for him. It is the same thing the Lord is calling us today. And limit yourself to what God has appointed for you to do. Don't put your hand, don't put your effort into what God has called other people to do. Limit yourself to what God has appointed for you. And you'll be able to say at the end of the race, I finished my call. Master Tower, I became to do ball on Tiolan to follow me and last day say, 
ti o ba le je pe leyin reje re ti o ba pari ti olorun fun o lati se wa le so pe mo pari reje re all the apostles said the source of the minister and my source is god himself who appointed me o so wi pe eyan ti o yan ohun ati ohun ti o ma yan ohun eran se olorun ni olorun ti o pe ohun my spirit in the ministry is the spirit of joy the attitude of joy e mi mi ninu ise eran se na o na ni wa si ayo ni gba gogo he said i recognize i accept i embrace the sufferings i have in the ministry for the salvation of other people o so pe mo tewo gba mo mo riri re mo si mu gba mo ra igiya ti mo farada ninu ise ran se na bi mo se se fun igbala awon eni said the scope of the ministry is for me to fulfill the totality of the word of god o so pe ite ise ise ran se ta bi bi ti ise ran se na tan bi o ni pe kin ni pari ikun rere ise ran se ti olorun fi fun mi have you heard the word of god today the voice of god speaking to you today o wa ti gba oro olorun loni o won olorun to nba osoro loni bi and there things have been running away from in the ministry which god has appointed for you that you want to say oh god i surrender i am sorry that in ignorance i may run away from suffering but now whatever your hand appoint I'm going to accept an embrace. O kan wa wa ninu ise ran se ti Olorun fi fun ati o tin ye ba fun o wa mura tan lati so fi Olorun dariji mi loni o mo mura tan lati gba on ko ti o ba yan fun mi ninu ise na lati se Why don't you rise up on your feet? Ti lo de ti o ko di de duro lori I raise your hand to the Lord. Ki o si gbe ohun re soke se Olorun. I surrender. Pe Olorun mo I surrender. Olorun mo tu ba I surrender. Olorun mo tu ba I give myself completely to the Lord. Mo fi ara mi patapata fun Oluwa. God is speaking to you. That God be alone to tell you. You speak back to the Lord. You want to bow down to the Father. I say, God, I know you are calling me. I know you are talking to me. I know you are talking to me. I know you are talking to me. I know you are appointing me. I know you are appointing me. I know you want me to do something. I know you are appointing me. 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 Don't look for fame. Master ma wa okiki. Don't look for riches. Master ma wa oro. Don't look for convenience. Master ma wa itura. Don't look for popularity. Master ma wa gbigbajumo. Don't look for any other thing. Master ma wa onko. Just rely on God who is calling you and appointing you to serve him in this generation. You was that beke le Olorun eni to n pe o lati se ni iran yi. And whatever you see in the ministry. O nko to ba salaba pa de ninu se ran se. Whatever difficulties. Wa la ki wa la ti o ko je. Whatever inconveniences. I ni in ni ra ti ni ra ti o ko je. Be joyful about it. Ma Be joyful, Be joyful about it. My yo ni pare. Be joyful about it. My yo ni pare. Are you suffering with Christ? O wan ba Christi ji ya bi. Rejoice. My yo. Are you suffering for his name sake? O wan ji ani tori oruko re bi. Rejoice. My yo. Are you suffering persecution as a Christian? O wan ji anu ni bi gaga bi. Rejoice. My yo. Are you suffering for godliness? O wan ji afu iwa be Olorun bi. Rejoice. My yo. Are you suffering for other people's salvation? O wan ji ani tori igbala awon elomira bi. Rejoice. My yo. Are you suffering for the kingdom of God? O wan ji ani tori ijo Are you suffering with these people of God around you here? O wan ji ya pelu awon mo Olorun to wa laye ka re ni ibi. Mayo. Talk to the Lord in prayer. Pa Olorun soro ninu adura. The Lord will give you grace. Pe ki Olorun fun eni ore. The Lord will enable you. Pe ki Olorun fun ipa fun. All complaint and grumbling will get out of your life. Pe gbogbo awa wi ki kun yo kuro ninu aye re. Now whatever situation you find yourself. Pe wa la ki wa la to ba ba ra re. On this way to heaven. Ni ona run ti awa yi. You'll be rejoicing. Pe wa ma yo. You'll be singing your way through till you get to heaven. Wa ma korin aye ise ku ti wa fi dorun. The lion will roar on the way. Ki ni le bu lo na. Difficulties will come on the way. Wa la le wa loju ona. Thunders may sound on the way. Ara le san loju ona na. Persecution may come in the way. Ninu ni bi ni le wa loju ona na. Make up your mind whatever comes, whatever goes, whatever I go through. I'll be rejoicing till I meet my Lord. Iwo sa ma yo pe o nkan ti mo ba ba alapade ti mo ba si alapade re ti mo ba la koja won la ti ti won fi dodo Oluwa mi. 